Hello everybody, my name is Moltanen and you're watching After Effects A to Z FX on Motionworks. In this episode we're gonna take a look at channel blur. So let's go right ahead. I'm gonna drag some footage in here. And by the way, this footage comes from Hollywood Camera Works. You've got a downloads tab in here and you can download all sorts of uh, open source footage uh, that you can use to do some testing. It's really cool. So check it out. Uh, let's get back to After Effects. And uh, channel blur is uh, pretty much like any other blur. Uh, however, it allows us to blur every channel separately. Of course, we can choose horizontal and vertical or uh, separately or one of the options separately. And we can blur every single channel separately. So for example, I'm blurring just the red or just the green and so on and so forth. Uh, this may seem a little useless at the beginning, but let's get uh, down deeper. For example, let's just key out this footage really quickly using key light. We're just going to drag it onto the footage and we're not going to focus on doing a nice key here. The, the um, uh, point here is to show you how the channel blur works on a key out or uh, a footage or a piece of graphics that has alpha channel. So uh, to do that, I'm just going to pre-compose it and just move all attributes to a new composition and apply channel blur. So once we do that, we would expect that when playing with alpha blurriness, it would create a soft edge. Unfortunately, uh, the pixels, the green pixels that were there uh, creating a color are still there, although they are being ungreened, if that's a word. So once we do alpha blur, we're gonna see uh, some artifacting as you can see right here and this is uh, expected so uh, don't freak out when you see that uh, however there are ways to fix it and we'll get to that a little bit later uh, so first um, let's just try channel blur on something different for example on a vector file so let's just create a new composition uh, maybe 600 by 300 that should be okay and let's just grab it in here. We can scale it down and apply channel blur again. So now when we're going to do the alpha blur, this is what you're going to see. And this looks exactly uh, the same as the keyed out footage. As you can see, there are no info uh, in, uh, about the pixels on the outside of the logo. Therefore, they are being replaced by black since we are blurring in both directions. So either if we do it on the key out footage or on a graphics we get the same result so how do we fix that and i will show you that on a more interesting example here i've got some png graphics rendered out from uh, 3d studio max uh, we've got a robot uh, walking so right now if we're going to apply channel blur we can again blur every channel separately and this as you can see creates a nice sort of chromatic aberration look so that's a nice feature right there it's not mathematically correct but it still works as an effect so uh, getting back to the alpha blur let's just leave the edge behavior at repeat edge pixels so we don't get any blurry edges in here when we pump this value but how do we deal with those edges well here is the trick the trick is to use an effect that I uh, think is my personal favorite which is CC composite I'm just gonna put it on this tag but turn it off for now first let's just blur the alpha channel let's say 20 pixels so we can really see what's going on maybe even more about 90 as you can see uh, we are feathering into the body of the robot which is expected unfortunately we have this black halo around him so how does cc composite help us in this situation when we turn it on uh, we have a lot of options in the composite original uh, drop down and in here we can use stencil alpha if we do that we are applying original footage alpha onto the effects that we've applied therefore cutting off all of this black halo Therefore, we only have the insides feather out. And how can this be useful? Well, it's a really primitive way of creating so-called light wrap. Let me just show you what that means. Light wrapping is a uh, 
natural phenomenon that uh, occurs when you shoot against pretty much anything with a real uh, camera. Basically the light bounces off everything in your scene and then uh, wraps around the object that you're filming. So uh, to demonstrate that I'm just gonna throw a really quick background in here and as you can see with the background behind our PNG robot and with the alpha blurriness we can really put that blue onto the robot. It blends a little bit better. Of course, as far as light wrapping is concerned, I highly recommend my own product which is dedicated to creating light wraps for nice composites. So um, I guess that's it for channel blur. There's not much more I can tell you. It's a basic blur filter with ability to blur every single channel separately. I hope you've enjoyed it. My name is Multanen. See you next time. Happy after effecting.